Let's open Houdini. And now, the question you probably have is... Where do I put my Python code? Well, there are actually many places where you can use Python within Houdini. Let's start by taking a look at the Python shell or Python terminal. Here in the main pane, where we have all these tabs, click on the plus button, new pane tab type, and we are going to add a new Python shell tab. As you can see, it's a normal Python terminal, but here inside Houdini. The problem with using the shell here is that we don't see what's going on in the viewport, which is in this other tab. So let's close this one. Another option is to go to the main menu at the top, Windows, and open the Python shell from here. This will open a terminal in a separate window. But the most comfortable option is to split this main pane by going to this arrow top right and split pane top bottom. In this pane I'm going to add the Python shell like I did before and close the viewport tab, because I'm not going to use it. So now I can type my code here and see the result up in the viewport. Normally the Python shell has an introduction like the one we had in the Windows terminal, but sometimes those lines don't show up. If that is the case, what you can do is open another Python shell tab and there you go. Those lines will show up in this new terminal. The first thing we see is the version we are using, 3.7.4. Remember that this Python we are running here is the one that was installed with Houdini, the one that was in the Python 3.7 folder. This Python executable is the one running in the Python shell. It also tells me the version of Houdini I'm using, which in my case is 19.0.383. And it says that the who module has been imported. You remember what the who module is? It's that API that allows us to control Houdini using Python code. Normally, to import a module and start using it, we have to type import and the name of the module we want to import, in this case, who. But here, it's not necessary because the who module is automatically imported every time we open Houdini. Down here, I have these three greater than symbols, which is how Python tells me that it's active and waiting for me to enter a command. When you are working with Python in Houdini, I strongly recommend that you always have the side effects documentation open, because there you have a breakdown of the whole who module. Let's go back to Houdini. If I type in who, H-O-U, and then a dot, remember this is how we access the content of a module. I see a small window with a lot of things. The ones with a green C are classes, and the ones with a blue F are functions. Here, for example, I have the agent class. If I open the who.py module, in Sublime Text or whatever text editor you're using and search for class agent, here it is. This block of code defines an agent, a character to be used in crowd simulations. Whenever I access a class or a function here in Houdini, what I'm actually doing is executing that block of code from the who module. 